Good morning, Matt here for another Daily Shave video. And today I'm gonna be doing another vintage straight razor shave. And today's shave is gonna be a travel shave, so I'm gonna give some tips on traveling with your straight razor. Um, today's review is gonna focus on the Major. So this is Simpson's travel brush. Um, the razor I'm using is the Kinfolks Blue Steel Special. This is a 5 8 razor with a spike point, full hollow, and manufactured in the US in the 1950s. The soap is spike. This is the stick. It also comes in a cream. The cream is also excellent and also great for travel. Um, just to talk a little bit more about Simpsons and the brush. So everybody in wet shaving knows Simpsons and knows their quality brushes. They've been making these brushes since the turn of the 20th century. Um, manufactured in England, hand-tied knots. Um, this brush is one of the best sellers. It's their travel brush. It uh, comes encased in this protective, uh, it's a hard plastic case. The handle's plastic as well. And it screws this way, and you push the brush through, it comes out of the case. So you can... Um, use the brush this way, it, the threads from the case also kind of serve as a little grip on this brush. Or you can take the handle, flip it around, and then screw it back in if you like a bigger handle. And this is what I like to do. And you can use it this way. So this brush is uh, definitely a luxury item. Um, and I guess the question is, why would anyone want to pay this amount of money for a travel brush? And, you know, so this brush, which is in super, runs around $150 range. They also have uh, a brush that comes in Best Badger, which is a little bit cheaper, comes in around a little bit over $100. Um, but this brush is a lot of fun to use. It's excellent. I love the form, the design of it. Um, and generally, before I got this brush, I didn't typically travel with a Badger brush. It's, uh, the thing about Badger is they are higher maintenance than, let's say, a synthetic. So I would typically throw a synthetic into my bag, use a synthetic when I travel. You can just, you know, they're pretty indestructible. You can just, you know, if they're damp, you don't have to worry about it. But, um, but I do prefer Badger brushes. So, um... This travel brush, um, what's nice about it, because it screws into this uh, kind of cylindrical case that's open on the bottom, it still allows that knot to air out. So, you know, if you're traveling and you need to um, throw that brush in your bag and it's still a bit damp, even after you've aired it out for a while, it's not gonna damage the brush. The brush is still gonna be able to dry. Um, you know, and it's also very protective, so you don't have to worry about damaging your brush. Um, and on top of that, the knot is extremely high quality, very good badger. So I also have the Polo 8 in Super, and for me, Super uh, is my favorite grade of uh, badger that, um, that Simpsons has. I do, I prefer it even to the Manchurian uh, that they put in some of the limited edition brushes. Um, for me, their super is sort of the perfect combination of like soft and scrub. Um, it even has a tiny bit of scritch to it, which um, I do enjoy a lot. It's just, uh, and it's also consistent between the brushes. Now this brush compared to my Polo 8, um, for people who are interested, in the differences, it's definitely, um, the knot is more densely packed in this travel brush. So even though it's a tiny diameter knot, it's a, uh, you know, 17 millimeter knot, um, compared to the Polo 8 is 25 millimeter knot. This, uh, this brush still holds a lot of lather and it has uh, more scrub feeling to the face, more backbone. And also because the loft is lower on this brush compared to the Polo. So it has a different sensation. It's it's almost like a Manchurian sensation where you have a lot of 
backbone, a lot of scrub, but you still have these really soft, luxurious tips. So this is really the ultimate travel brush. And yes, it's a luxury item, but if this is, if you're looking for a great travel brush, I don't think you'd be disappointed with the Simpsons Major. So it also has this uh, kind of history of the Major on the website that it was commissioned by a uh, Major Beeching who was like this Himalayan explorer and he wanted a brush he could take with him on expeditions. To me, the story I think might be apocryphal, it might just be a marketing uh, story, but uh, I still like the, I love the look of this brush and it's definitely, it, the performance of the brush kind of speaks for itself. Um, so with that, let me get started on the shave. I've been talking a bit much and I'm gonna wet the face. So when I travel, I do like to travel with a stick. It's very convenient to use a stick and also very easy to use and very easy to lather. I think it's probably the best method for creating a lather is using a stick or a cream. And part of the reason is because you're applying, you're not applying a ton of soap. You don't need a lot of soap to get a great lather and lots of it. But what's more important is getting uh, the surface area. So you're getting a thin, very thin layer of soap on a big surface area, which is your face and it's getting it on the hairs, on all those hairs, like that. And it makes it very, very easy to generate a lather. And spike is a great, uh, the spike stick, great performing soap. Now I was soaking this brush, like I soak all badger brushes, and I'm just gonna give it a couple of shakes to get the excess water out and I'm gonna just paint and get a pasty layer. Now Spike is um, a very mild scented soap. It's about a three out of 10 scent strength, I'd say. Uh, and it has a very unusual kind of a herbal scent to it. it. Reminds me a bit of like a Ricola, those cough drops. The cream also, uh, which I have and I really like, uh, has a similar scent, but it has menthol. The stick doesn't. It has some extract of the spike plant in it, which uh, is supposedly grows on the mountaintops, German mountaintops. supposed to have healing properties. Um, it also has beeswax, which when you finish your shave, leaves you with a really uh, amazing post and also offers a lot of protection. It feels like your skin has been waxed. So now I'm just gonna drip some water into my brush like I do with all my badger brushes. Actually, all my brushes, I build the lather this way, so. I'm just gonna paint in some water incrementally. Paint it in. Paint it in, and I'm dripping some more water. Dripping in more water. And then I'm gonna do one last addition. And now it looks thin, and it looks like I can see through my, to my skin under the soap. And at that point, I'm gonna have added enough water and I'm gonna start splaying, splaying the brush.
Now this brush, there's a lot of scrub to it. Again, I can feel um, a lot of backbone, even though it's silver tip and it's the softest grade that Simpsons has. Um, because of that loft, And because of the density, it gives some nice backbone. And I don't think I have to add more water to this brush. As you can see, the brush is just chock full of lather right now. leather right there peaks and there you have it I'm ready to go So when you're traveling with the straight razor, um, one of the things you have to worry about uh, is definitely checking the razor, first of all. So if you're using a straight razor, you're definitely going to have to put it in checked luggage. There's no, it's really no getting around it. But the same is really true of a DE razor because you do have to check those blades. Uh, you know, a workaround for that is you could always, you know, if you're a DE shaver, you can send those blades ahead. Or if it's somewhere where you go frequently, you can leave blades there so you have them when you come back. But for the most part, you're gonna, either way, you're gonna have to check a bag. So what I like to do when I'm traveling, um, I just bring my hanging strop and I lay it flat in the luggage. You can also get like a travel strop, which tends to be a smaller strop or a, uh, a paddle strop. but it's not really necessary. You can still travel with your uh, hanging strop. No problem, you just wanna lay it flat. So it doesn't get damaged. Across the grain. Now the razors, you definitely want to try to pick up a case of some kind. So um, the case that I like to use, I have this, it's a kind of a custom leather case to put my straight razor in. Um, you can also get one, here's one for DE razor. And uh, you can get something like this. They sell them at West Coast Shaving. It just keeps your razor from getting damaged in your luggage.
gonna keep everything in uh, my dot bag. Uh, and as far as a dot bag goes, I do like to get the one I have has like a um, has a plastic lining in compartments. So if I put an aftershave or a cream. In case you end up with a spill or a break, it's not going to get all over your luggage. plenty of lather inside of this knot. Soap is very uh, creamy feeling. Feels very dense and protective. A third pass Need to go across the grain towards my chin. I'm going to do a little scrubbing. short scrubbier strokes. <clears throat> now as far as uh, shave bowls, I don't usually pack it when I'm shaving, when I'm traveling. Um, but you can get, I know West Coast Shaving sells um, the Pereira Shaving Bowl, which is indestructible. Would be good for travel.
or you can get a plastic one. That was great, three pass shave. And let's see how much lather is still inside of this knot. See, there's still, let's see, enough probably for a clean up there. So no, you don't need to use a 30 millimeter knot every time you, uh, you know, every time you shave. You can still have a great shave from a smaller format brush. Um, Got to put on a little bit of moisturizer. And last but not least, some aftershave. This is the Captain's Choice North. It's a bay rum aftershave, but it has some juniper berry in it. It's a little bit uh, refreshing. It is an alcohol-based one, but there is some uh, uh, there is some witch hazel and aloe in it. It's nice. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this travel shave and the travel tips, as well as my review of the major. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.